I have previously made a video showing how you can use the LEDs on your keyboard as indicators for HID remapper layer state. For example, how you can make the caps lock LED turn on when a certain layer is active. But you can also wire LEDs directly to the GPIO pins on your HID remapper and use those as layer state indicators. It's a nice option if you don't want to sacrifice your keyboard LEDs or if you need more layer indicators than your keyboard has LEDs, or if your keyboard isn't even plugged into your HID remapper because you're using it for your mouse or something else. Let me show you. Let's add some mappings that will activate layers 1, 2 and 3 when I hold the control Alt and shift keys. I will make them work on all layers so that all layer combinations are possible. And now let's add the mappings that will turn on the LEDs. My LEDs are connected to GPIO pins 2, 3, 5 and 6. So I will set those as the outputs of the mappings. Each of these mappings will only be active on one layer, the one does, that this particular LED is an indicator for. And we also need something that will always drive the GPIO pin high when that layer is active. We need something on the input side that will just always have the value of 1. We can use an expression for that. I will just make an expression that always evaluates to 1. And I will set the inputs on these mappings to expression 1. Remember that each of these mappings only works on a certain layer. On the other layers, the GPIO pin will get the default zero state. For this to work, we need to have the GPIO output mode, here in the settings tab, set to zero low, one high. That's what it's set to by default. This mode is good for driving LEDs. The other mode is good for driving GPIO pins on other devices if they use pull-ups on their pins. Okay, that's the whole configuration. Again, these three mappings activate the layers. These four turn the LEDs on when a certain layer is active. Let's test this. Save this configuration to our HID remapper. When no layer is active, the default layer 0 is active and we can see that the first LED is now on. Let's hold Ctrl. Now layer 1 is active and layer 0 is no longer active. Alt activates layer 2. Shift activates layer 3. And we can have more than one layer active at the same time. And again, when I'm not holding any key, the default layer 0 is active. OK, that is it for now. Check out our other videos for more cool tricks. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.